What's going on, Coyote Pack? Today we're on location in Deland, Florida at the Reptile Discovery Center. Now, over the course of the past two days, we filmed some amazing videos, us actually milking the venomous pit vipers that live here in the Eastern United States. And then we also showed you what happens when you add snake venom into human blood my blood to be specific, and it was a rather interesting experiment. Uh, today we're just walking around the grounds, picking up some B-roll, but I had this really good idea. They've got this awesome display inside of all these different snake species, and since Mario is such a snake enthusiast, I figure why don't we give him a little bit of a challenge? Let's see if Mario can give us a snake fact on every snake that's in the display room in under 10 minutes. All right, let's go find him and see if he can actually pull this off, Mr. Wildlife Biologist. What's up, Mario? Hey. What you doing? Checking out these turtles. Look, look how many turtles. Hey, turtle pond. We got some red bellies. We got some peninsula cooters. We got some red ear sliders. Hi guys, how's it going? Okay, so I started this video. We're already been running for about a minute and 45 seconds. And okay. since you're such a snake enthusiast, what we're gonna challenge you at, uh, myself and the Coyote Pack, is let's go through the display center in there, and I want you to give us one fact about every snake that's on display in under 10 minutes. Do you think you could do that? Wow, um, I think so. I love snakes. Snakes were my first uh, passion when I got into reptiles. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm oh, yeah. my rattlesnake shirt. Actually matches the toy rattlesnake really well. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I could do that. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Dangerous, venomous mm. reptiles. Danger, dangerous reptile. Okay. All right, let's do it. So obviously I can't look at that, right? No, but I can look at it and show you. This is a gaboon viper. Gaboon viper. Actually, this is a good one. Gaboon vipers are the largest viper species in the world, and they have the largest fangs of any snake in the world. Wow. Oh, They're from Africa. Okay, okay, remember, you've only got 10 minutes, so. Ooh, this is a black mamba. Uh, they are Africa's, one of Africa's most notorious elapids. They have a highly toxic, neurotoxic venom, right? So these are infamous snakes. They get the name Black Mamba because when they open their mouths up, they actually have a black lining inside the mouth. It's not really because of the color, because you can see that color is kind of a grayish color. So it's actually the lining of their mouth, which is kind of black okay. in color. Ooh, this is actually a green mamba. There you go. This is another African species, not as toxic as the black mamba, but in my opinion, a beautiful snake. Another elapid. Okay, this guy is a Cape Cobra. This is actually one of the most toxic true cobra species in the world. And as you can see right now, it doesn't have its hood extended. Like all cobras, they actually flatten out their neck in a threat display. But this is one seriously toxic snake. Uh, let's see, this is actually a baby. We've got a puff adder. They get the name Puff Adder because they actually will puff up and hiss and make a uh, kind of threatening sound to try and scare away predators. Another viper species, not pit viper, viper with hemotoxic venom. Clock right. is running, just so you know. We Whoa. gotta speed it up. Boom slang. This is a really cool snake because it is very unassuming. It's actually a colubrid. It is one of the most toxic colubrids in the world. And, uh, oh, this is cool. This is a bush viper. Not a bush master, bush viper. Bush vipers are the equivalent of the eyelash viper, but they are in Africa. It is a form of convergent evolution because they look very similar to the eyelash vipers. Oh, this, this is the Taipan. This is probably the most toxic snake in this entire room. So yes, this is an elapid, one of the most toxic in the world. All right, next, do you know that one? Oh yeah, so Fertil this ants. is the Fertilans. Uh, Bothrops is the genus, and they are from Central and South America. They're probably the most dangerous snake in uh, the New World. South American rattlesnake. So this is actually a rattlesnake species that's found in Central and South America. Like all rattlesnakes, they do have a rattle, which you can't see right there, but he's very cryptic in pattern, and he's got a hemotoxic venom and large fangs. Okay, we're right. five minutes in, five right, minutes in. Good. Okay, palm viper, where's it at? Looks like it's hiding. Is there... Oh, there he is back there. Oh, beautiful snake. So palm viper is another arboreal species, uh, kind of like uh, that bush viper that we saw. 
And arboreal snakes actually will hang out in the vegetation, up in the canopy, they're gonna be eating lizards and frogs. And their venom is actually not that toxic compared to other species, but they are a type of viper and they do have some long fangs. All right, oh, there it is, eyelash viper. And they are another arboreal species. As you can see, this enclosure has a lot of branches and stuff, so he's actually hanging out there. They get the name eyelash viper because they have these little scales that actually cover uh, the top of their eyes, and it kind of looks like they have eyelashes. What else? Indian cobra. Uh, is it him? Oh yeah, there he is back there. Ooh. It's really dark. Okay, so this is probably your classic cobra, the ones you see in the movies. They actually rear up really high, they've got that hood, and they do have some markings in the back of their hood, but it's not that classic monocle or spe spectacled appearance. And then look at this guy. This is actually one of my favorite snake species. It's called a cantel. It is in the Echistrodon family, same family as the water moccasins and copperheads. It actually looks like a water moccasin. He's a cutie, the king. See that? There he is. That is a big snake because the king cobra is the largest venomous snake species in the world. This is not a true cobra. Okay, that genus is actually its own genus. True cobras are in the Naja family. So Ophiophagus means snake eater. That's what they eat, snakes. That is an albino reticulated python, non-venomous, one of the largest snake species in the world that's non-venomous. All right, what else? This guy. Oh, this is a spinning cobra. So as you can see, it actually does have its hood slightly extended and it just shed. All snakes shed their skin as a response to growth. That means it's healthy. And as a spinning cobra, it'll actually project its venom out at a potential uh, predator. Ooh, that is beautiful. This is actually an Asian species of viper. I think it's called a long-nosed viper because if you see the tip of his snout, it's got a scale that actually kind of protrudes out. This is what you would say is convergent evolution to the uh, Bothrops, to the Fertilans. So very similar, but in Asia. Okay, this guy. Oh, this is called a rock rattlesnake or a lepidus. This is native to the US, actually found in certain uh, areas in Arizona. This is the Southern Pacific rattlesnake, a fairly common uh, species out west, especially in California. The Mojave, venomous. This is the most toxic rattlesnake species in North America, in the world actually. Um, they have neurotoxic and hemotoxic properties in their venom. So if you get bit by this, that's bad news. And this, can you guess what that is? That's Copper. a copperhead. And copperheads are one of my favorites because of that pattern, very cryptic in color. They are not a rattlesnake species, but they are a pit viper. Now this is a timber rattlesnake, um, but the pattern on this, I wonder if this is a cane break. It is. Okay, so cane breaks are actually native to Northern Florida, and they're a type of subspecies of the timber rattlesnake, and they are highly toxic rattlesnakes, and they get pretty big, as you can see. Uh, that's not even full grown, but very pretty snake. And it matches your shirt. Oh yeah. Whoa, look at this little guy. This is called a pygmy rattlesnake. And of course, because it's called pygmy, it's because it's a tiny little snake. They don't get that big. All right, whoa, the water moccasin, also known as the cottonmouth. This is a common snake throughout the southeastern U.S. and they get the name cottonmouth because they will actually gape and expose the white lining of their mouth, which is bright white, and it's kind of like a threat display to leave him alone. Red touches yellow, kill a fellow. That's a coral snake, the most toxic family of snakes in the United States, a lapids. Let's see, red touches black, friend of Jack. That's a scarlet snake, harmless. Ah, look at this. These are Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes, the largest rattlesnake species in North America and one of my favorite species. And uh, there's two versions in here. There's an albino, which is kind of a morph, uh, all species can be potentially born albino. It is a mutation. And then you've got your classic coloration in the back here. Uh, they have big fangs, big venom glands. And if you're bit, you definitely need to go to the hospital and receive antivenom. I think that's, that's it. it. I did it. How'd I do? You did amazing. I think we just made it in time. That is every snake here at the Reptile Discovery Center in roughly 10 minutes. Man. That was impressive, my friend. Thank that you. was very impressive. It's pretty hot in here. I'm, I'm sweating a little bit. I'm sweating just going through all of that. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this very 
vast education about the snakes, but if you guys get the chance to visit the land Florida, definitely check out the Reptile Discovery Center because all these snakes are on display for you to admire. And like I always say, guys, do not ever try to get close to a venomous snake in the wild. Admire these guys from a safe distance. Yep. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm Ariel Nicoa. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Man. All right, dude. Boom. That was impressive. Oh, drop my rubber snake.